All right, so today I'm just gonna be showing you this really cool uh, self-working card trick. And uh, anyways, here's what it would look like. So um, I'm just gonna take the jack and I'm gonna set this off to the side over here like this. And then I'm gonna mix up the deck. And then you're gonna just pick whatever card you want. So let's say the deck is mixed up. Now at this point, all I want you to do is just cut the deck wherever you like. So let's say you were to come over and you were to cut the deck like this. Now at this point, you could cut the deck from either packet. So let's just say um, you cut it from here. So now what we have is three piles. Now from the middle, I want you to take one card and put it off to the right. So let's say you do that. And then you want to take another card from the middle, put it over to the left. So um, at this point, we're left with the middle pile. And I want you to pick up this card because this is going to be your selection. So um, remember at the beginning, I said I was going to place this jack off to the side. All I have to do is look at this jack because one jack is going to look at the card while the other jack tells me which one it is. So let's say this jack is going to look at the card and this jack is going to tell me your card is the king of hearts. So let's take a look. Alright, so as you can see the jacks are right and if you want to see how this is done don't forget to stick around for the tutorial. So to start off this trick what you want to do is get a face card like a jack. Um, you can really pick whatever one you want. In this case I'm just going to be using the jack of diamonds. And then uh, before you go up to the spectators, you just want to know which card is in the third position. So in this case, we have the queen. Um, just remember that the queen of hearts is going to be the spectator selection um, at the end of the trick. So at this point, you can go up to your spectators and you're going to tell them that you're going to be using the jack. Um, but we're going to set it off to the side because we're going to use it a little bit later on. So you can have the spectator hold on to it or just put it on the table. And now from here, um, you can shuffle up the deck, but you just want to make sure that you're going to be leaving that queen in the third position. So when I did a riffle shuffle, I know the queen is in the third position in my right hand. So I make sure to leave a nice big block of cards. That way the queen doesn't get shuffled into the deck. So I just did it twice in the performance. Shuffle up the deck. Leave that queen on top. And now from here, you're going to be telling your spectators um, to cut the deck in half wherever they like. So at this point, they're just going to cut the deck and the only thing that you need to do from here is just look at which packet and memorize which one has the selection. So in this case, it's going to be the packet on the right. As you can see, we have the queen. And just remember which packet has the queen in it because from this point, you're going to tell your spectators to cut the deck in half again using either packet. So if they choose the left packet, the one without the queen in it, they're going to cut it and most likely they're just going to put it over here off to the side or something. Just remember the queen is in the middle and from this point you don't have to do anything extra but if the spectators were to cut the uh, cards in half from the packet with the queen if they cut it off to the right now you have the queen um, on the edge packet but you're going to want it in the middle so from here you can tell your spectators that you're going to mix up the piles a little bit and all you have to do is just make sure that you eventually move this queen to the middle so you can say look I'll just mix around the packets a little bit like this and now what you've done is just moved the queen packet into the middle. So now that you have their selected card in the middle pile, all you have to do is tell your spectators to take one card off the middle, put it to the right packet, and make sure you tell them to only take one card at a time and make sure that they don't look at it. Now at this point you can say do the same thing but put it to the left. And now at this point their queen is going to be the top card on the middle, but you do not want to flash this card to them. Um, accidentally or you don't want to show it to yourself because that would obviously ruin the trick. So at this point you say okay. So your card is going to be right here and you tell them so obviously I have no idea what it is. I shuffled up the deck, you cut it, you dealt the cards off but in fact this jack over here is going to tell me. So you're going to say look one face of the jack is going to take a look at a card while the other jack tells me which one it is. So at this point you just memorize that their card is the queen of, uh, queen of hearts and you say you know you do whatever you want. You can snap you say, look, your card, the jack has told me it is the queen of hearts. So it's a really simple trick. Um, it's great because it's self-working. And uh, anyways, I hope you guys liked the video. And as always, thanks for watching.